Hello again, this is Delia of JX3 Inspirations, and I'm here today making three mixed media tags for WOW embossing powders. I hope you enjoy them, so let's get started. The first thing I did on these is I found a tag, a wooden tag that I had laying around in my craft room. I used that as a template using some balsa wood to create two more tags of the same dimensions as, as that. I ended up using a regular nail filer to file the edges so that they would be nice and smooth. And then cut the holes on the top um, so that I can put ribbon through them. You see me here cutting each piece of balsa wood with my X-Acto knife and then filing it all down. The next step was to apply some white gesso, white acrylic gesso, to all of the three tags to protect the wood. And it also helped here uh, covering up the words that uh, were on that reused tag. I then ended up using my WOW embossing dual speed heat tool to dry it up and apply additional coats. Here I cut off two pieces uh, of paper out of a page of a book to apply to two of the tags. I applied them on with my Rangers Multi Matte Medium glue. And then I made sure that the holes were not covered by the white gesso uh, and removed whatever excess gesso was in them. So I took the first tag and I uh, added the scrunch background stamp set in several parts of the tag. I applied it using the WOW embossing ink pad and primary bark, uh, this color, brown color that you see here. Next, you see me using a stencil to apply some stone effects paste by Finnebear. For this next tag, I decided to use the Starry Night stencil by WOW to apply some stars to the background and I used opaque crackle texture paste for this one. Next, I applied some embossing powder this one is called Karen's Dream by Alexandra Renke. Um, and it is a mixture of clear and golden uh, powder. It comes out looking distressed, which is a, a very nice effect. So I use that for the stars and later on I heat emboss that. For this last tag, I ended up using the Foliage Background Bold stamp set to emboss those foliage to that tag. And I used the Rose Glints embossing powder. It's a kind of a rosy, peachy looking color. It's very pretty.
Here it is, embossing the stars. And look at the shine on that golden mix. Okay, so here comes the inky part. For one tag, I used the Distress Spun Sugar, um, this Distress Oxide Spray. I then um, sprayed water over it to um, activate the color and then removed the excess color over the embossed areas. For the next tag, I used the Um Papa Pink color. Uh, it's the Magical Shakers by Lindy's. Um, to apply it to this second tag. Again, activating the color by spraying water over it. For the last tag, I used the last color called Guten Tag Teal by Lindy's. Uh, another magical shaker's powder. You dust it on, spray water over it, and then either let it air dry or uh, dry it with your heat gun and look at the pretty color um, with that with those golden stars that makes it look so stunning so the stamp set that i ended up using for the sentiments here is this set wooden stamp set by recollections i believe it's called christmas noel um, i use the be glad be joyful and be blessed uh, sentiments. I use them, um, emboss them onto white cardstock by Wow. It's their smooth superior cardstock. Um, and I use bonding powder here to emboss the sentiments because I wanted to use their fab foils. And in order to use their fab foils, you can, and you can, um, one way is to do this, to use the bonding powder heat set the bonding powder, and then um, run that uh, with the fab foil over it through your laminator. Um, you'll see me doing that in a minute uh, with my mink, mink machine. So I add the foil, I put it um, on a plain copy paper, and I run that on my lowest setting on my machine. And look at the shine, how pretty that is. The color used for that Be Blessed sentiment was the blush color. I next use the Ice Blue color Fab Foil to emboss the Be Glad sentiment. And then I use the White Fab Foil next on the Be Joyful stamp. And then for the Be Joyful, because I was using the White color, I did use black cardstock uh, on that one. Then I trim all of the sentiments using my Ionic Trimmer by Tim Holtz. And once that is done, I end up cutting three pieces of cardstock, white cardstock, um, four behind each of those sentiments so that I can have an offset uh, piece of cardstock that I end up coloring later on. So here they are. For the first piece, I end up coloring with uh, one of the Lindy colors. Um, the second is with the Distress Oxide. 
um, spun sugar. And the last one is with that Guten Teal Tag blue color, blue green mix color. Um, then I heat set all of those three offset pieces and I glue the sentiments onto them. This here is a embellishment that I ended up using for one of the tags and it's from Finnebear. They're called Vintage Trinkets uh, and I ended up using the round, the biggest circle that they had to place behind my flower and bird. I then uh, took the bird and a die cut that I used for that teal colored tag and I I uh, use that Guten Teal Tag um, Magical Shakers powder uh, and sprayed it over it. And then I used um, Alexandra Ranke's Karen Stream embossing powder to uh, emboss parts of that die cut. I did the same later on with additional embellishments, um, embossing certain areas uh, that I would just dab onto the ink pad. And then I play with placement to figure out what embellishments I'm gonna place. And soon thereafter, I start gluing everything in place. Next, I use the archival ink to stamp script sentiments onto all three tags, onto the backgrounds of all three tags. I use the archival ink for stamping this Finnebear scripts stamp, and I randomly apply it to different areas of the tag once I'm satisfied with that, then I am gluing everything into place. And I do the same for the other two tags as well. And to keep it simple, I just use that one stamp set uh, to make them also cohesive since I was planning on using all three tags onto one canvas. There I was applying some 3D foam tape behind the sentiment so that I can give it some dimension. I then apply mini art stones uh, by Finnebear using the Rangers multi-matte or multimedia matte glue. Uh, I apply it in um, random areas again throughout the tag to give it that finished mixed media look. Here I am repeating the same steps with the second tag, using archival ink, stamping that background script stamp set, and then gluing everything in place. I'm drying here that offset piece and using some glue to apply the sentiment onto it, 3D foam tape to raise it, and gluing that into place.
And here is the last tag. I did the same here. I applied that script stamp over different parts of the tag. And then I'm cleaning up that stamp set, putting it away and move on to um, adding the sentiment over that offset piece. And, and then I ended up coloring some of the embellishments um, that I was gonna use on that last tag. I used, since this was a metal, I ended up uh, adding some white gesso over them so that the color that I applied to them would stick um, and I did that uh, front and back and then added uh, spun sugar, which is the color on this tag. I added that spray over some of those die cuts and those embellishments. Next, I add some earth tone honey embossing powder over some of the die cuts. As well as some primary bark over some of those metal embellishments. Here I decided to add some Karen's Dream, that golden clear powder that I used on the other tag onto these two metal rings as well as onto the uh, locket heart that I, that I used underneath the butterfly. Here I'm cutting some white thread to place behind the butterfly. And when you're in the end, here is just gluing all of the embellishments that were still loose onto the tags and then adding any more of the mini art stones to it. If you want, I didn't in these tags, but if you wanted, you could um, splatter some white, titanium white paint over all of them and that would be a finished project. You can add um, any color ribbon. I went for black. I didn't have white in my stash, so I used black, but either color would have been fine. And here I applied a couple of um, cardboard pieces behind that embellishment because 
uh, it needed to be more steady. So I, I sprayed them with sponge sugar. Um, you saw me doing that earlier, cutting a piece of cardstock, adding sponge sugar to them so that you would notice the cardstock underneath those embellishments. Um, but it's just to make that embellishment steady and straight. And then I applied some foam to the right side of the, to the right side of the wing of the butterfly also to make it more steady. And then it's the um, adding some of the multi matte medium with the art stones to finish it off. I also applied some metallic uh, wax. This one is aged brass. Um, this is a Finnevere or our Alchemy wax. And I applied it using a sponge, a mini sponge uh, to random places throughout the tags. I did it to all three, the same color, um, to the edges and some of the uh, embellishments. And we're at the end of this tutorial. This is just applying the ribbon. I cut three pieces of ribbon of the same length and I uh, put them through the little holes and tied them at the top, cut any um, jagged edges off the top. And that is that, that's the project. And here are the final tags. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments, your support um, during my guesting for WOW. Thank WOW for um, finding and, and uh, believing in liking my work. And I hope to see you guys soon. Um, if you um, can, please like this video and let me know if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful, if you'd like to see more of this, and I'd be more than happy to uh, add more videos in my YouTube um, with mixed media projects. Thank you.